Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Local here, back with some more House of Iron 4, playing as New Zealand. Now, in the last video, what we basically achieved, if I can get myself over there. In Africa, we have complete victory. The Soviet, in terms of Soviets, that's... Well, there as well, because it's only Japan. But in terms of our enemies, they've been completely pushed out now of Africa. The Soviets were having a... Quite a large presence here, but we managed to eventually get them out. Now, currently at the moment, we have moved our... Let's speed up a bit. Moved our forces up to a. We're moving our forces up to a port, so they can resupply, we get reorganised, and then we're going to move them up to the front line to help the Allies in a battle towards the Caucasus. Uh, there's a large oil deposit around here, I believe. So, resistance resource. Yes, here. So if we take that away from the Rus Russians, it'll be a massive blow. So that's what we're hoping to achieve. Now, at the moment, the war is going the way it should do. Allies are pushing here. Um, Jim Rice got a pocket there. Whoa. The Allies are pushing for and linking up here as well. But they are doing a massive push past the Soviets and it looks like they're around the backside of Moscow. A lot of area in Finland has been taken. Um, still slow progress up here in Scandinavia. Let's take a look over towards what's happening with Japan. Wow. They've gone. They've been pushed out of mainland China and obviously over here in Korea. We do have allies on the border with Russia holding them off, uh, pulling them at bay. Mongolia at the moment is, I can't have much left in them. 95% towards capitulation. So soon, they should be going, what I want to do is actually get up our political power because we're going to get to a stage where we may actually be able to take some territory. And territory with good resources could be key. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Definitely keep an eye on that. Okay, so, at the moment in time, before we send our, get our troops together, let's have a look what's happening. Let's cut this off till we know what we're doing. Convoys, we've got tons. Tons and tons and tons of convoys. Uh, we might actually, two a week, so, knock that down a little bit. And let's get... Another destroyer. Let's get a destroyer on there. Steel. Ah. Two a year. Is it really worth it? We change that to submarines. Steel as well. Don't need more ships. To be fair, we really, really don't. Engineer company's increased, so let's have a look at that one. Let's keep that moving up. Engineer company entrenchment plus 200%. Entrenchment plus 200%. Work on that. Um, right, let's just check the production once again. So, that's going fine. We're not producing any of air ships. Aircraft is working fine, but we're going to be upgrading those soon. As soon as we do have the new uh, fighters, which we're going to get later on. In terms of tanks, we're only 24 behind. So, it's going to be another 24 a day or less. In terms of other equipment, six a week there, that's slowed down. Over 50, so we upgraded those. These are working as they should do. These are behind quite far. How much are we working on with tanks? We're we knocking down a little bit. How much difference is it if we knock that at one? So I'm going to have a six a day. So, uh, what we're actually doing at the moment is we're going to basically move these troops further north in a second and help out where we can against the Soviets. Sorry about that. Uh, right, so, what we're going to do now is what we're looking like in supplies. Almost there. We're out of the dock as well, so we are going to be getting some decent resources. Keep that pumping up. It's, it's infantry equipment support equipment, which is going to be low. These should bulk up in a matter of days. Now, that it's going to work quite well with them. Not going to be full fine strength, but what we'll do is we'll send them forward anyway. Try and get a front line going here. An offensive line here. Let's 
Have them move into position. Right, I'll see what's happening here. Wow, they're supposed to be bypassing the round, Moscow. Ooh, they could create an absolutely huge pocket here if they do go for that. They're doing a save up in this region as well. That'd be vast. That'd be absolutely vast. What's the... It's 95% still. Why are they holding on? What do they need to take? What's the main province there? I don't want a main area left. Is in Mongolia, to be fair. With victory points to be taken. Not too sure, but there's not a lot of fight left in them. Almost gone. Anything happen over in Japan? Is anyone actually going to the mainland? No one is actually at the moment. We do need to get to the mainland in Japan. That's where it's going to be an issue. I don't think it's something we're going to be able to get involved in. That's why probably once the Soviets are done, we may call it there. Which could be this part. I'm not actually sure. Let's take a look. Okay, there's a few small pockets being cut up, uh, created. Moscow's been bypassed. points. Okay, so. Aha! Upgrades there. Is that all the upgrades? All the upgrades have been done. So, land doctrine, that's been increased. Naval, uh, we'll leave all them. We don't really need them. These are done. This is done. We can now improve this. Reconnaissance. The ability to scout head is the same. Which increases the chance that I can pick up better tactics in battle. So these can now advance. Now in position. Try and get us to move across here. We need to do, do need to cross the river here as well. But there shouldn't be too much of a problem with the amount of troops we have in the area. Tanks are engaging first. I'm just going to help now try and push back. Like I say, take the Caucasus. And it uh, should work out well. They're going up for wars Moscow now. Republic of Guatemala. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Supplies. Supplies low. Okay. There's not going to be much infrastructure I can imagine around here anyway. So, our little front of the war is going as we expect. Post Republic is called the Republic of Wales Ally. Right, so they're in, yeah. Moscow. We're surrounding Moscow. Oh, they're linking up. Got a large pocket here for managed to take this position. Which they are about to. Quite a few pockets being created. There's one being created here. No, they've got a dock here now, so they can get... Still get supplies and need to take that region. The Soviet uh, war effort is in disarray at minute. Are they going to move on Moscow? Now, pockets been created here. One down here. Not too good for the Soviets, but we need to make a push onto Moscow. How's our little war going? We've almost hit his objectives. We'll have a difficult fight ahead of us next. Because we're going to have to go up here. Link up the region here. Probably from this dock all the way down to Iran. Once we've taken this province. Which we have. Okay, so. Stop that. The next offensive line is going to be Here, going over that river, letting a position prepare a little bit first, and then we'll launch that attack. A lot more Allied troops moving to the north now. Any lands in Japan yet? No. At least some are trying. What's happening in Mongolia? Nothing seems to be happening. Troops are moving here, there, and everywhere. The British are making a massive push up here. The trial and cut with we're surround taking waves of country. Moscow is still not captured, still in Soviet hands. Our offensive is once again gonna continue. It's gonna be over mountains, so it is gonna be difficult. But if we push up to this area. 
Then we can sweep to the east. Take the oil fields. Big, big blow to Russia, that. Do have a lot more oil, obviously, but that'll be a blow. Um, yeah, it's a right old mess. Did anyone go for Moscow yet? No, not as of yet. So far, so good. What is Moscow? What is Soviets? Looking like 50% towards capitulation. They're still 95. They need to lose 3% of victory points. Where? What are the victory points? Where are they? Can't see any towns or anything. For anything left, it's just got to take the territory, but they just need to need to work at it. Fighter two, slide down slightly. Fighter three. Once we get to fighter three, we'll start producing those. Our push is working as we expected, but progress is slow. We're not taking the territory I thought we would. Move that way. These are pushing up as well. All these divisions over this side. Cut off this uh, division here. All the troops seem to be moving as they should. Try and hit these while they're retreating. Low supplies. That's going to help. Look at this breakout here. There's no bloody really Soviets in the way either. No airplanes there. Is Moscow still standing? Moscow still standing. In terms of air power, there's uh, very little the Soviets can do to match the Allies' air power. So it's actually doing a good deal at the moment. They're still trying to hold on. Really, really are. This war, really, at the moment, just seems to be more with our allies and ourselves. There's not a hell of a lot we can do. We are helping any way we can. We only have eight divisions in the fight, but still, better than nothing. Cut them off. Let's get those overrun. Where's the resources? There. Down here for the oil fields. Oh, they've got aircraft here as well. Oil fields have been taken. What we've got now? Uh, time to research uh, supply consumption minus ten percent. That'll be beneficial. What's this construction looking like? Construction radar still. Yeah. Okay, so the oil fields are taken, the airfield is gone, this airfield is gone, so there's no more capacity for them to have any air support. We're going to take this dock here, so we've cut them off. We do need to pull some men back before we get cut off. Cheers. That's done. Second Brazil and Republic join the Allies. Sweet. Right, anything we need to do or well, we haven't got. Night vision. I was always going for that. Moscow's still not falling. Are they making a push at it? They are making an attack, but it's not really working. They are crossing the river on this side, though. Large areas, uh, but they're still not really doing any good. The um, obviously Scandinavia, that's not really pushing really well. There's look at the territories being taken here. They are they've got their own little objectives. Mongolia's still in the fights. The eyes aren't pushing. No one's pushing on mainland Japan. Do 
It's getting there. Moscow falling is going to be a big, big impact. But we need Moscow to fall. We so far it hasn't. Okay, our little war is uh, going good. Make a couple of moves to a couple of positions. We've got no aircraft here in Georgia, so that should be fine. Take a couple of these victory point positions. Gonna surround these units here. Quite a lot of them embedded in there. This infantry division can move further forward. Stalingrad needs to fall, which is gonna be our next target. As soon as we take these, we'll start actually sending armor division up there. Yep, we're winning that fight there now. So that's working. Production-wise, we still need to catch up on the supplies. They're still full, as always. These are still need to catch up. Uh, tanks. We need more tanks now. We're losing tanks. Aircraft's doing what aircraft things do. Not gonna pro I'm not going to even attempt to be upgrading the aircraft yet. See, can we get Stalingrad? No, we're going to risk it. I don't really want to risk it. Let's send an armored unit. So we get Stalingrad. Send these guys over here. See what happens. If we lose two divisions at this stage, we'll lose two divisions. But our allies are pushing forward with us as quick as possible. In fact, some of the allies are pushing up further than we are. Keep working on these Soviets. So race to Stalingrad. See if we can take it. How many victory points worth? 30. There's a new offensive in Moscow that isn't at the moment. At the minute, we're creating a pocket as well. It's all about them damn pockets. Oh, oh, Soviets are moving. Can we get in? Nope. Move around. Don't want to fight over a river. Aircraft there. Let's take this airfield. Stalingrad's taken. So we have ourselves captured Stalingrad, which is great. With one division of armor and motorized. Uh, Moscow is still standing. But there is now a pocket created. So that should whittle down. Let's capture that first. Move up to this airbase. The move Stalingrad. I'll do. How's our ally, our forces down here doing? Where are they gone? They're here. So we need to keep taking these out of the mountains. Eyes are pushed up ways now. So a couple of positions along the river. How's that make things look? 65%. That's still 95%. Don't forget if he's really happening though. Look at the state of this. Moscow, surely got to make them fall. Surely. I can't see what much more there could be. So if I can go ahead over there. Should we close his pocket? Now our allies are here. Let's do it. So there's a true Stalingrad as well. Those are guys here. They are pushing. There's still uh, enemy division there, but we're working where we can, as we can. Is anyone fighting at Moscow yet? Look at this territory. Surrounding everything everywhere. It's crazy.
this is getting smaller and smaller. They lose the supplies, they just need to make that push on Moscow itself. I don't know one's doing it. They are pretty dumb. They could move in now. They've got a lot of forts around here. But still, with the, the troops, the troops are weakening. Right, another pocket's been created. Should I send this armor up? It's a long way. Has Moscow gone? No, so the hands of the Soviets. Gonna make all men come further north. We have more victory points here on the river. Let's get them over there. Trying to take as many of the victory points in the back as we can. There's a lot along this river. So that's where we're gonna probably work against. Keep doing that. Allies should be able to deal with Moscow pretty soon. There's not much ground left to take there. We just need to get in there quick. Let's have a look at Japan. No one's doing invasion of Japan. Oh, Japan are actually invading back again. Japan are probably a pain in the ass, but there's only been Japan left. Soviets is the biggest threat we've got. So that war needs to be done. Okay, so where's our troops? We are now pushing up. Armour's arrived. We've taken that position there. 70%. Moscow falls. It's a big, big chunk of that gone. Troops are now pushing that general direction. They are trying to break out. Let's get smaller and smaller. Go to the next victory point. Over here. Once that's taken... We'll go over there. Russians are getting weaker. Soviet, sorry, I keep on rushing the Soviet Union this time, so... Is anyone going to go for Moscow yet? Look at that, only a couple of tiles left. So many areas where they've been cut off. We just need to get in there and clear them. At least Stalingrad's gone. Armour's racing up. Shouldn't take them too long. Three days. Yeah, gotta go over a river and through some forests. But they're getting there. What's this? Gorky. Come on, take Moscow. Take Moscow. This is the main area we need to take out. Russians are fighting back. Here. Took a bit more territory back, but the eyes are pushing up. They're, they're pretty much spreading out everywhere instead of concentrating their army in one post. In one area, just pushing up in one swoop. They're literally concentrating everywhere. This doesn't make much sense, but. I completely forgot we had any subs. Going back to base. I forgot we had these subs. How many fleets we got? We got three. Right, so that's our sub. I'll send there. Where are they? Five more subs. Get them a hold. Get them back as well. Well, you learn something every day. Might be an idea for me to actually check what I had. Anyway, well, that's happening. What's happening here? Is it Moscow falling yet? Probably not. No, surprise, surprise. They're doing an offensive. <clears throat> right, we've got a new fighter, so we're going to change the production now. This is going to be a pain in the ass, because we have so many upgrades. No, 23, I don't have that many fighters. New research. 
Should we go for jets next? Might as well as. They're having to go. How's our effort going? Taking all the victory points we can. Take Gorky, I suppose. Gorky, then we're in for Moscow, because this is getting ridiculous. Okay, so. Hopefully this works and we can get this done soon. Fall of Leningrad. Fought to Leningrad ages ago. Oh, well, Leningrad's gone. Say 2%. That's still 95. Is anything happening over there? Speed up the game. Um. No. Surrounding big strafes of territory over here. Armour is pushing. Moscow pocket's getting smaller, but the Allies aren't really attacking it. Just pockets everywhere. Pockets of resistance now. Cut them off. These guys moving in. Where's the armor? Why are they getting stuck here? These guys have almost took this position at Gorky. Uh, the Moscow is going to fall by the looks of things. It is getting now an offensive. This has been crushed even more since we last just look. Uh, we may not even need to go there. Moscow. Moscow's gone. Oh, Moscow. A great victory. What about now? 85%. What the hell do we need to capture now? More territory. Where's Big? That's a victory point. A victory point. All victory points being captured pretty much. Of any worth. Moscow falls with a massive blow to him though. Omsk. Go there. Go there. I suppose head there. Made a victory point 77 days. Well, say now, the Allies are going to keep pushing as well. Uh, this should just be getting smaller and smaller now. 86%. Still now 5. So we are almost there. There's still pockets here. Surprised the Allies haven't really covered that up. They've lost tons of resources. Supplies must have run your fin for them. These last regions are being taken over. It's got to be crushing the units. 86% still. At least Moscow's been captured. Our armor is here. They're not far off. Still a lot of positions left to take. 87%. I really wanted to get this done before the end of this video. But it's not looking like it's going to be. We'll see how long I can hold out for. Mongolia is almost gone as well, but still nothing's really happening. 87%. Allies are everywhere. More region for Latvia. Where he's been taken over here. Our troops are en route. 
One strategic point we're going to go to is gone. The one here worth three points. We're on our way. 64 more days. What's this one worth? Another three. So they're after. Right, so that's done. What should we get? Should we get these while we're on here? Yeah, let's do it. Do that. Increase that. Sweet. Come on. 8%. Okay. Right, gotta go, guys. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that Russia and the Soviets are going to capitulate. So, we'll have to continue that in the next part. Uh, fortunately, though, Moscow has fallen. Stalingrad has fallen. It's large waves of territory done. Um... Middle East area and the Caucasus is just like one last little province here they need to get rid of. Uh, our guys are on the move over to some of the last major victory points they've got. Where are they? There's a couple here. No, that's it. Far too long. May have to fight that way though, to be fair. But we are moving over to last uh, victory points in this area, which is able to take us 88%. So it's getting more and more. Um, so things are going well. And hopefully in the next part, it should be the end of the war. This war. The Soviet Union against, well, yeah. What was the name of this war? Soviet Polish War. So almost there. Right, okay, guys. We're going to end the video there. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to give it a like. It really helped me out. And I'll see you all on the next one.